King Charles was stubbornly hard to pin down over whether Prince Harry and Meghan would be invited to the coronation, Omid Scobie has claimed. Harry attended the monarch's big day in May on his own, with Meghan staying at their home in Montecito, California. He attended the ceremony in Westminster Abbey and then quickly returned to the U.S. in time to see his son Archie on his birthday. Writing in his new book Endgame, which has been released in Australia and is published in the UK tomorrow, Scobie claims that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were unsure for months if they were going to be invited. In response to Harry's queries about an invite, the King allegedly said in a February phone call initiated by Harry, I haven't decided. Scobie adds that whilst the Duke had an extensive list of reasons for skipping the proceedings altogether, Harry had allegedly told a source that supporting his father still outweighed other things. Harry attended the ceremony in a suit, with his medals pinned to his chest, after being told he would not be allowed to wear his military uniform. But Scobie says Charles gave the disgraced Prince Andrew a firm nod to wear his lavish order of the garter ceremonial robes. Harry was seen laughing and smiling as he entered the church alongside Princesses Eugenie and Beatrice and their respective husbands Jack Brooksbank and Edo Mapelli Mozzi. He sat next to the couple in the church, two rows behind Prince William and the Princess of Wales, who were with their two youngest children alongside Prince Edward and the Duchess of Edinburgh. The Duke of Sussex was reportedly invited to lunch at Buckingham Palace following the service but did not attend. Before the coronation, Harry announced he would be traveling to the UK without his wife, who was remaining in California to look after their children. The prince was reported to have voiced concerns over security and the reputation his family could receive from the public.